people have said that Prince Harry loves his country. You know, he said it himself on those interviews, did he not, while promoting the royal bashing book Spare. Across all of those mega four interviews, he said that he hoped at one point to return. But for now, California was his home. In fact, he said that when he rushed back after revealing all about a private conversation with our late monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, to NBC, basically claiming that California is his home right now. But by relinquishing any ties to the United Kingdom after signing over the lease agreement once again uh, from Frogmore Cottage, which always makes me laugh because I don't know about you, but it's certainly bigger than any cottage I know. And uh, when they decreed it and said it was uh, unsavoury and all that sort of stuff on the Oprah Winfrey interview, and apparently Oprah couldn't believe uh, that they were living in such a place, when you saw the pictures on Netflix, you kind of thought, wow. That's not that small at all, is it? To a very good source, though, Prince Harry is quite happy to relinquish all ties, according to a very good source, allegedly in the United Kingdom. And this is a really big and serious step, because without a home here, without a full-time base, then obviously he cannot continue to be, or remain, in fact, to be a councillor of state. Now, this, of course, is somebody who would deputise in the absence, whether that be good or bad, of His Majesty the King, or indeed other senior members of the monarchy who were busy, out of the country, etc. Now, I have to tell you, a lot of people <laughs> would not be too fussed about this, because obviously the way that uh, we feel that Prince Harry has treated Great Britain, and in particular the disdain that he's shown in various interviews, and of course about the press, and indeed the public in general, then, you know, really are we too bothered about that? But apparently neither is Prince Harry. Let me explain. You see, he says that he sees his life elsewhere and, of course, the life of his two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lily. But as most people also feel over here in the United Kingdom, he's having the benefits of all the trappings of royalty, if you like. And I understand that, you know, titles don't necessarily translate over in the United Kingdom. But people are going to be fascinated to meet in the years to come a real life princess. Councillor of State role, though, I'm told, and as ever we have to say allegedly, is that he's not too bothered about. He'd already come to terms with the fact that that particular role would be taken away from him at some stage. The thing that he was really offended about uh, in his Mexit remo removal, or whatever you want to call it, was of course the loss of the attachments to the armed forces. That was the big thing that he really felt was the most disagreeable aspect of Her Majesty's, uh, shall we say, list of things that would happen. But regarding the Councillor of State, would he care if he returned or not? According to that good source, no. But what he's very keen on, and I stress this 100%, is that the retaining of the titles of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Princess Lily and Prince Archie remain. And as he pointed out in that TV interview, if you took the titles away, what good would that do? A lot of people over here feel if you're planning to base yourself across the other side of the world, then why should you be representing the esteemed British monarchy when you're simply doing nothing for the titles, particularly in the case of Meghan Markle, a former cable TV actress? As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular developing story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of Yorkshire.